We're out here today, we're uh, shooting the Howa chassis rifle, Howa HCR. This one's a 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, this one's sporting the 24 inch uh, threaded heavy. Um, we'll go ahead and go over some features uh, real quick and then we'll start uh, putting some rounds down. On the back end you'll see we have the Luth AR MBA3 fully adjustable stock. It's adjustable for length of pull. Just simply loosen this knob and pull it and set it to your desired length of pull. Tighten it down when it's set. We have the comb adjustment for adjusting for height over bore for your scope setup. Loosen the knob and you're going to slide this piece up and down until you get the desired set. Lock it down. And then you have the ability to adjust it on the six position buffer tube by pulling this adjustment nut down and sliding it back and forth until it's set and then it'll lock in place. Moving forward, you see that uh, we have an ergo grip here. This one's matching uh, FDE colors for the FDE and multi-cam camo setup. Moving forward, you'll see we have the Accurate Mag chassis made out of solid aluminum. It comes with a 10 round box magazine standard. The 6.5 models come with a uh, 10 round detachable box magazine as well without the binder plate in the front of it. So you can load those long 6.5 rounds. Moving forward, we have the M-Lock free-floating handguard. You can put any standard M-Lock attachment to it. It does come standard with a uh, fitted front sling swivel stud, so you can mount standard bipods or uh, even a sling if you wish. Moving forward, uh, we have the Howa 1500 barreled action. This one's coated in uh, Cerakote flat dark earth. Standard on every Howa 1500 rifle is the Howa actuator controlled trigger, Howa hack trigger. It's a two-stage trigger. The first stage is about a pound take up, and finishing the brake is about three pounds. Also on the trigger assembly is a three position safety. Forward, weapon is on fire. Middle is on safe, but you can safely operate the bolt and unload the rifle if needed. Rear locks both the trigger and the bolt assembly. Moving to the top of the rifle, we have the Scope package comes with a 20 MOA EGW base along with steel quick detach rings and the Nico Sterling Diamond 4 to 16 by 50 long range scope. The scope has a couple of unique features to it. Uh, first off, these large target adjustable uh, locking turrets, pull it up to lock, quarter MOA adjustments, slap back down when you're dialed. And these apply both to elevation and windage turrets. On the left side of the scope, we have the illumination dial as well as our parallax adjustment, good for anywhere from 10 yards to infinity. Today we're shooting Hornady 140 grain ELD match ammo. We've already zeroed this rifle in and uh, shot a less than a .5 MOA group on it. We're going to push out a little bit and uh, have some fun with some steel. These magazines are uh, really easy to load. A little bit of downward pressure. Put the run right in. Alright, we got our first piece of steel set about 300 yards. We're going to dial up about 3 minutes. Let's see where that gets us. Time to move back. All right, our piece of steel is set out about 620 yards. I'm gonna go ahead and dial 11 minutes on the gun, see if that lands us a first round hit. <laughs> 